we're here today to talk about the mini twister tool. This unique little tool comes in this packaging with this free pattern for a table runner. I'll show you the table runner later. But right now we're going to be making a pillow. So the, to obtain the pillow design that I want, this is how I lay it out. And the first thing I do is spray it with Mary Ellen's Best Press. This helps stabilize the fabric because you're, when you're cutting, you're gonna have bias edges and it helps reduce the amount of stretching that you're gonna get. So you begin by lining up the black lines on your tool with your seam lines. And you're gonna cut, being careful not to extend your cutting line too far past your template or your twister tool. And if you have difficulties cutting with your opposite hand, I'm right-handed, so it's my left side that I have problems with. I'm not ambidextrous. I draw a line with my twister tool, I'm sorry, with my friction pen, and then move my ruler over and cut on my line. You may have a different favorite marking pen, but twister, the friction pen, they've got twister tool on the brain, uh, will disappear with heat. So I'm going to continue on lining up my next cut. And while you may think there's a lot of waste going on here, I save these pieces and make other items, which you'll see later in the video. those little last corners there. So you're going to continue cutting all the way across and you only want to cut one row at a time and sew it so that you maintain your design placement. So this is what your first row will look like. Then you'll go back and cut your second row and sew it. I sew them on as I complete each row so I keep them straight sometimes you get interrupted and lose track of where you are. So, when we get all of our rows sewn together, this is our completed pillow top. Now there are people who say there's a lot of waste, and there is waste. I reuse my waste. I don't call it waste, and I make mug rugs. These aren't finished yet, obviously. Or pot holders or a larger mug rug for your mug and a snack. This pillow pattern has five different designs on it and as you can see here it says for 18 or 20 inch pillows. This is meant to be used with the little twister tool not the mini twister tool. However I like more design showing on the front of my pillow. As you can see with this example, if I had my design going all the way to the edges of the pillow, you wouldn't see all of the cute little pinwheels. And here's a designer tip, and you won't know. If your seams don't match exactly in the center, you can camouflage them with little decorative buttons or with an applique center. So to get this pillow bigger, I simply added a two inch border all the way around. Now if I wanted a 14 inch pillow, I could have used it as is. This is the free table runner pattern that is included with the tool. One thing I neglected to tell you was the beauty of this tool has little feet that raise it up above the fabric so as you're cutting you're not rocking back and forth on your seam allowances or the lump that's in the middle that forms your pinwheel. Earlier in our video I said that I would talk about the importance of 
color contrast and paying attention to the directions. This is what our free table runner started off looking like before we started cutting. And it looks really good here. But there wasn't enough contrast between all of the colors and the designs. So when I sewed it together, that's what it looks like. And you really don't get a clear picture of the pinwheels. So these are just a few of the fun ideas that you can make with pinwheels, otherwise known as twister tools, table runner, mug rugs, hot pads, pillow, and I had one extra that I used on this pop-up. Thanks for watching our video today and thanks for shopping Craft Warehouse.